So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can use the import and export statements inside your Node.js apps. So you might be familiar with this syntax if you've looked at ES6 modules, but it's not been actually very well supported in Node up until recent versions, but there are a couple of things that you need to do to actually get it working. So uh, just to explain what we've got here, we've just got a really simple class which is exported from this greeter.js file. Uh, and then in our index file, we're actually importing it and then just instantiating the class and calling the method. So what we should be able to, or what you think we should be able to do, is if we run the node index.js file from the command line, we should expect that to actually import the file, create a new greeter class, and then run the method. But you can see here we can't use the import statement outside a module, and it's throwing an error saying that it doesn't like this import statement. And so you can see that even though I'm using a fairly recent version of Node at the moment, this isn't supported out of the box. There are a couple of things that we can do just to get this working. Uh, the first thing is if we just go over to our package.json file, uh, anywhere in here, just on the main level of the uh, JSON, if we just add a type property and set that to uh, module, save that. That will just tell the node runtime that we're actually going to be using import and export statements. So this is kind of a type of module package. And in our index.js file, instead of just referencing the file uh, name without the extension, we just need to pop the extension on there as well. And if we just rerun the index page again, we should find that that now all works for us. So that is a little bit of a pain if you're used to not having the .js extensions on the end of your file, but it's not the end of the world. And as you can see, it does work. It's worth noting as well that for the node built-in libraries, so for example, like the OS library, you don't actually need any extension on there and the import statement will actually work. So we can say something like uh, console.log, the architecture of the machine that I'm using at the moment uh, is os.arch. And if we run that again, you'll see that goes through without any problems. So there you go. If you want to use import and export in recent versions of Node, all you need to do is set the type to module in your package.json and make sure you've got the .js extensions when you're importing files and you should be good to go. So that's it for import and export in Node. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.